Hey there, Baffer mates. Welcome to another edition of the Book of Job. I am Job Fortuna, and today we're going to have another look at another fun trailer. So my review for the trailer of God's Not Dead 4 was quite popular, so I thought why not rake in on the popularity and do another one. Uh, Pure Flix doesn't tend to do that many releases, I've seen like one other trailer um, for Samson, which actually looks kind of good, but might work on that as well, but um, yeah, came across this one, I just thought I have to give this a watch, so let's watch together. Grab your popcorn. I don't know why you need to grab popcorn, it's not that long a video. Damn, Zeus is pissed at that church. I'd like to help. With what? This. Then why are you asking at a hospital instead of, you know, the church? That's the guy who volunteered to help with the cross. I just need you to step back. Don't worry, black people. The white man is here to help. I mean, I know it's a bit on the nose, but that's kind of the vibes I'm getting from this scene. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be too harsh. I mean, we all know, like, the really important people are the white people, you know. Jesus, I mean, Jesus was white. We all know this. <laughs> oh. What just happened? Editing. I'm telling you, something's up with that guy. Ever since he's been around, strange things have been happening. Like all my bosses of Avion Wars have turned into Merlot. Who even likes Merlot? I think that you have caused miracles. I'm sure that there is an explanation. Boo, it's the atheist of the film. Boo, go home, atheist. Boo, I bet your name's Thomas, you doubter. Boo. It is a miracle. And I've already told you. And I already told you. Yeah, I mean, just believe the old guy. Just believe the deeply religious man who claims to have witnessed a miracle with his eyes and expects you to believe it on his hearsay rather than you being there to actually witness it yourself. How dare you not believe him? Alex Thomas, his chemo's going well. So far, all green. His dad's bone marrow matches. I want to admit him. Prep him for the transplant. What? I'm not going to make fun of a kid going through chemotherapy. I'm not going to exploit a kid with cancer trope just to make a point or to push a narrative. That's their job. Well, at least they admit it's fiction. I'm looking at you, God's Not Dead fan base. How did you fix that cross? We don't always get to understand the reason. What reason does God have for drowning a 10-year-old little girl? Free will? Or God works in mysterious ways. That's some of the reasons they give, isn't it? My personal favourite is, um, I'm God, shut up. He stopped breathing. I can make him better. I can save him. You don't save lives. You can prolong them. Six or a hundred, it's nothing compared to eternity. I mean, fair enough, but... That's the case. You're you're more than welcome to tell tell the parents that, than letting her do that. Obviously, that's the good Christian thing to do, right? God made my baby very sick. And you must pray like a lot to make sure he gets better. Or he'll just die young because God decided that would be the case for him to die young with cancer. He's all love, remember. It's not nothing to his mother. I'm very grateful for the gift you gave me. But take it back so you can heal Alex. And you know it doesn't work like that? Of course it doesn't. Because that would completely undermine the point of this film. And the narrative in general. And a lot of parts of Christianity. Not all of it, but some. He just needs more time. He's going to get better. Why would God want to hurt a little boy? Because God's not real. And that is... Well, 
Well, that was a fun video to make, actually. So um, I hope you did enjoy. Once again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, you can also follow my social medias, links down in the description. And don't forget to live deliciously and to hail yourselves.